Welcome to Krokozuna Production. This is part of an ongoing Jigeko series on how I approach sparring with students in order to maximize their improvement while also keeping myself sharp. This is Steve Walker, 41 and Nida. Dedicated, studious, and very intelligent inside and outside of Kendo. Steve is a regular in Krokozuna video. He began Kendo in the All Eastern Kendo Federation, but moved back to Michigan in 2018 where he has been with Koyokai since. He's been a multiple time Mudansha champion and a key player on Koyokai teams where he has helped us to multiple medals. My son loves Steve and they always have good matches as well. As you can see, we both fall for the same trick. He definitely keeps me on my toes too. When teaching Steve Kendo, he makes things easy because he's very observant. He watches for how people execute waza, and he's very good at being a proverbial copycat. But not only is he learning many ojiwaza, but he's also an excellent motodachi. Although Steve started Kendo in his 30s, I view him as someone with a great upside, meaning that he'll someday go to Kyoto Taikai as at least a renshi. You can see here that his Kamayan technique are already well advanced past Nida. I feel as though Sandan is a formality for him at this point. He's continually trying to add techniques and polish them during Jigeko. He has been working on Kote Men, Gyakudo, and is becoming very proficient at Kote Kaishi Men. I also know that he wants to become good at Men Suriyage Men. Very commendable, and this is why I feel as though he'll reach Kodansha ranks when the time comes. When sparring with Steve, I myself am able to stay stable and centered as it is beneficial for the style of Kendo that he practices and for myself to not develop bad habits. I'm able to apply centralized pressure to him and he reacts just like a Kodansha would by returning pressure and creating good counters such as attempting the Ojiwaza that I mentioned previously that he is working. Steve is also someone who is aware of the Kendo landscape both locally and globally and will probably evolve into a great referee and instructor. We do at times tease him for his love of shopping for kendo gear. Joking aside, he really does make my job of teaching him very easy. As a final note to emphasize what I've been saying, Steve enjoys this type of waza practice and does so frequently. Notice how clean and precise he is. Thank you for watching and please remember to like and to subscribe.